Let's go to our first topic, and it's a great pleasure to someone who's done a bit of work for us, actually, just for your benefit on the hard shoulder. Do you remember back in the day, back in the day, before we had all those iPads and laptops and digital DVDs and all the stuff they have today, we had home spun fun through the game of Monopoly and you know someone would get the boot and someone would get the iron and, and so on and you'd start off and you'd go round and you'd get your salary boost or whatever or you could be sent to jail but you'd get a green block of property on a road or a red block for a hotel or an apartment and what you did was amassed more and more property so when someone landed on your square you had to pay the, the rent well this got us thinking because you remember, uh, yeah, do not do not collect your two hundred euro, go straight to jail. Park bench, do you remember all that? The grim realities of it. Well, the reason I'm nattering on about monopoly is. Dublin is getting its very own Monopoly board for the first time later this year. So back in the day, and they've gone, now gone out of production since 2011, there was the old thing. You remember the blue one? Aylesbury Road, Shrewsbury Road, and it was real expensive. And then you had the kind of more down at heel, the brown ones, your Kimmages, your your, your uh, Kimmage, uh, uh, Crumlin, uh, all of those uh, kind of ones. So we got the idea. We give the good people at Monopoly a bit of a helping hand and we got a property expert in Dublin and say, well, what are the top of the pops in terms of the most expensive locations for residential and commercial property? And it's a great pleasure to welcome the studio, Linda Forsyth, Director of New Homes at Savills, who's carried out the research for us. And we have put our version of how the board would look on our Twitter page at Ivan Yates NT. Linda, you're most welcome to the programme. Now, uh, were you? Did you ever play Monopoly? In your, no, you do, you're looking with that vacant look. <laughs> I did, but I have to admit, it has been about twenty years since I last looked at the Monopoly board until today. So All right, I'm not an expert. Okay, well, so so so, the the plushest place mm. used to be mm. four hundred quid. It used to cost for annual rental if you landed on the board of Shrewsbury Road or Aylesbury Road was three fifty. What would be the poshest places? The most expensive places now? Well, what I noticed actually when I was looking at the board today was that whoever did it didn't have much knowledge of the north side at all. So well, that'd be cheap and down the <laughs> heel. That would make well, sense. Well, that's the problem. So um, it's I come think, up a bit since then. I think has it's it? come up a little bit in the world, exactly. And I do think as well when you look at the old version, a lot of the city centre areas really weren't. <clears throat> sorry, excuse me, that weren't in demand like Crumlin and Kimmage and South Circular Road at the lower end of the board. They're all really desirable areas now. So, um, and there are lots of desirable areas on the north side as well, uh, central north side. So, um, But where is the most expensive place? In, 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 in terms of, you know, per square foot it of is. residential property. Where would you go? It's still Shrewsbury Road. Is it? Uh, yeah, it is. Uh, Shrews, Shrewsbury and Aylesbury. Is that because of the, 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 the lowest density? You know, you see the biggest red brick buildings. That's the thing, exactly. And, I mean, there's a very high concentration of large... Um, high value properties. So when and you, you look probably at wouldn't get planning permission to build something new, would you? Would you? You might. There's there's one or two sites there at the moment, but but no, it would be very low density if you were looking at. Because in fairness, road. it's it's not on a dart route. Of course, yes. Suppose you'd be mm-hmm. driving your Daimler into work, you wouldn't be worrying about the dart. Exactly. Okay. And well, but I would have thought that Kalini. Because you know we had those really expensive places on uh, uh, where Mr O'Donnell's family lived and so on in Vico yeah. Road, is it? Yeah. And I think Pat Kenny lives somewhere near Kalini. That'd be really proper posh, surely. Well, if I were to replace anything on the board, it would be I'd put Vico Road probably in in Kalini, but I'd like to get its equivalent on the north side in. As okay, well. yes. Um, so Centre Road and Hoth is something similar. Obviously, there's there's a difference in value and properties on each side, but but, uh, but Hoth is pricey, is it? Yeah, it is. Yeah. So yeah. Are, are we talking about sea views? Exactly. The right. sort of equivalent of Vico Road. Okay. And it's called Centure. S-C-E-N-T-U-R-E well, Road. You spell it C-E-A-N. S E O R. Okay, okay, yeah, and 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 thing. there's nothing on the west west side or anything like that. You'd need to go out to a country estate in Blessington or something yeah, like that. Yeah, exactly. It's the coastal locations there uh, with those large 
country-esque piles. All right. OK, we're, we're talking to Linda Forsyth, Director of New Homes at Savills, about uh, suggestions for the brand new Monopoly board for Dublin. Where's the down at heel? Where's the priciest place, given where we were? Now, for commercial property, they had Grafton Street, Georgia Street and Wicklow Street. I think Wicklow Street used to be in green. Um, wh- where would you say is the equivalence? Because now we're sort of talking quasi-commercial as well. Yeah, well, I'm a new homes expert, obviously, so yes. <laughs> not too into uh, to the retail, but Grafton Street, again, would be that, that high value. Henry Street has come along an awful uh, an awful long way since uh, I think that the board was originally developed and obviously we, we heard that Georgia Street rents are through the roof at the moment as well. OK, so, so we're talking Balls Bridge proper D4, Clontarf and Sutton would yeah. be the next after Kalini and Hoth, would they? Yeah, well I think so. If you were to leave out, out the commercial property, yes. I do say I think, uh, yeah, Ellsbury Road obviously should be up there, but I think if you were going for the trophy properties, uh, obviously you'd start with Vica Road and Centre, Centre Road. But and of course, we are talking about things like penthouse apartments mm. now, would be just as pricey, because they'd have all the mod guns, I suppose. Exactly. So in those desirable sites of Ballsbridge, Clontarf and so on. OK, can, can we go to the opposite end of the market? Uh, wh- where, like, I'm looking at South Circular Road, uh, Crumlin and Kimmage were down sort of bargain basement, 100 per year. What would be the equivalent today? Well... If you're if you're looking in central Dublin areas, I think your your best value area at the moment is probably East Wall. Um, so and Crumlin is still sort of in in and around the the value price point. But I would I'd probably move Kimmage up the board a little bit. I'd keep it on the board, but I'd probably probably move it up in the world a little bit. So my two probably my my, my two lowest value areas would be the East Wall and Crumlin. East Obviously, Wall and Crumlin. Yeah. No, but what about Tala? Yeah, well, I wouldn't immediately jump to, to Tala. It isn't the lowest, uh, it doesn't have the lowest value property in Dublin at the moment. You're probably looking more at Ballyfermot or out in the suburbs, Balbriggan, Tyrrellstown, those kind of areas where there's there's volume sales. At, at and and how are values. things going in Flatland, Rathmines, that kind of area? Is that, is that come up a lot? It really has, yeah. And again, I mean, you're, you're paying upwards of a million now for a block of flats um, with So potential. that's gone beyond the reach of students? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, probably has, and a lot of these would have obviously refurbishment potential. Whereas okay. probably even four years ago, you might might have got the same property for five six hundred thousand. Okay, so they're not any, ch- anymore. any change in the transport hubs uh, uh, because you know I suppose Dublin Airport is still where it's at. Uh, Sh- yeah, Shannon Airport was on the old board, uh, 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 but that wasn't just Dublin. Uh, Basaris, where, where would be the biggest hub now? I suppose it would be Conley, would it? It would be Conley, or but it would, it would be nice to get the Lewis in. Uh, yes, if, good point. If we are bringing this into the 21st century, so uh, it might have to be the Red Cow Depot or something well known uh, in respect to the Lewis. Uh, and then you'd probably go Conley Darts for the Dart Station, Houston for the train station, and maybe Summerhill for the bus depot to get something north side in the end. All right, look, we want to get your suggestions. 53106. Where, where do you think is the, the both the place for cheapskates and where's the poshest place? Where would you like to have a postal address for? Uh, check out our Monopoly board. It's on the Twitter site. Um, and we have a text here from not forgetting there are our, our red friends, uh, Tony and Douglas says, and here in the Rebel City, we had our own Monopoly, uh, Cork Monopoly for years now. Keep the texts coming. Well, lots more on the hard shoulder. And, uh,